How do you assess that performance today, Paul? Um, first half, poor, really. I think uh, we, we didn't get started and to give a team like Burnley a head start like we did, it was always going to be a difficult day. I thought in the second half we made a couple of changes by putting on uh, a, a couple of wide men and really just trying to play a 4-3-3. That made a, a good difference for us and we managed to wrestle back some possession in the game and we had a few chances. Uh, like, like I said, if you don't take our chances then uh, we're always going to struggle. But I think if um, we feel this chance goes in either side of the goalkeeper, I think it's a very, very different game. So uh, that's, that's the long and short of it. Is there a bit of frustration with the decisions as well? Obviously, George Thomas could have had a penalty after a minute and a free kick that goes in. It doesn't really yeah. look like it's a free kick. So yeah, I mean, as well, obviously, when yeah, I mean, like I say, it's it's one of them, isn't it? I think um, for me, that's, that's a penalty. I think. Uh, we can't blame the ref because he's got his decisions to make and he's got to make them in, in the, the spirit of the moment, but it does affect us and then it does change the game slightly because I think if we get a penalty, it gets our tails up, we believe in ourselves a little bit more, we don't get it and then uh, it's it's one of them, isn't it? So can't blame the ref, but I'm not happy with that decision, of course. What was the thinking behind taking Chris Willick off at half-time? Is that an injury or is that just... A tactical. Decision? It was tactical, I think. Um, I think we, it was justified because what we wanted to do was not be so narrow and allow them to attack us down the width. I think Albert and Olamide came on and gave a really good account of themselves and they helped us to be able to attack and Olamide was, was really good and Albert brought his experience into the game so yeah it was, just, it was a tactical move for sure. What can you tell us about the lads who missed out today? Obviously, Stefan Hansen, probably the biggest player to miss out, but a few other as well. What's the yeah. Um, well, listen, they're, they're in training and they are uh, making their recoveries and making sure that they're, they're, they're able to be try to be fit for, for Preston <coughs> at the weekend. That's so, for, for all of them, they're all to get back in Yeah, the yeah, they're all, they're all on their way to, to, to trying to be fit and to making sure that they can get in tomorrow and we can have a closer look at them. And just finally, uh, is there any news on your situation? you expect to be in charge for, for the next game? Or just going well, today? I've just been doing interviews, so it's important for me to to complete these interviews. I haven't spoken to uh, Les or Lee or anyone like that, so I'm just happy to support the club in the guise of, of what it is, which is they've asked me to do the game today and I've got to finish it off with, with interviews. The players will be in tomorrow. So uh, I've got to then go back to them and then and then just uh, make sure that we finish it off in, in the right way. The big talking point early on was the the, the, the penalty shout. The TV replays it. It definitely looked like the keeper got a touch on the on your guy. Have you had a chance to, to have a look at a replay of that? No, I haven't. I mean, uh, I actually thought it was. I've been in that situation many times, and very rarely have I, have I not been given a penalty or not seeing a penalty being given for a situation like that. George went through, he did really well to go through. Keepers come out, made contact with him. So I can't really understand why a decision wasn't given uh, in, in our favour. But these things happen and we've got to brush ourselves down. I just hope that uh, something like that doesn't happen to us again because uh, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't a nice feeling, put it that way. It shouldn't matter, but do you think it was almost too early that you know it was something just reluctant to give something in the first twenty seconds? Maybe I mean the psychology of, of you don't understand the psychology of somebody. I mean that is probably quite ludicrous. You don't know whether that's true or not. Um, but I would have taken it. <laughs> I would have taken it in the first twenty seconds because then it, it, it shell shocks people, and it does change the game. And I think that was our moment to have the game change, along with other moments. Mad. I just um, check what the issues are with Luke Amos and Leon Balogun. They're just recovering. They're recovering. They they're recovering nicely, uh, but at this moment in time, they they need to recover. They need a little bit more time to get back into full fitness. And like we say, uh, I don't want to bring these guys back in too soon because. If they come back in for one game because we're rushing them and they break down for four games, it's not great. So I'd rather have them for to make sure that they're fully fit by the time that they return.